many people are concerned about this movie, uh, and we know that anyone, if there's anyone out there that can express his worry or concern or problems about a movie and make it hilarious, we know it's the critical drinker. I'm here to laugh, because I'm concerned too. Let's check this out. No, it's a scientifically provable fact that Predator is one of the greatest action movies ever made. That's true. A perfect combination of gung-ho, testosterone-fueled 1980s muscle, <laughs> gory slasher flick, gun porn, monster movie, sci-fi horror, and edge-of-your-seat survival. It somehow managed to merge a whole bunch of different genres together into one cohesive story yeah. and make it look easy. It Shit, man, it even managed to coax a pretty decent performance out of Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> the problem is that every subsequent movie has been an increasingly disastrous attempt to recapture the magic of that first I really like experience. Too, predator 2 a was a decent stab at porting the Predator into a new environment and pitting it against a new protagonist, and even though it had Gary Busey chewing the shit out of that scenery, a fucking alien. It never quite reached the same heights as its predecessor. I loved Predator it was basically just a rehash of the first film. Put yes. a bunch of people with guns into another jungle and have them fight another Predator. Only this time, they don't like each other. Fucking groundbreaking. Yeah. And as for the Predator, well, check out my review if you want to know my detailed thoughts on that pile of dog shit. My point is that as hard as they try, 20th Century Fox just can't seem to crack what made the first movie so fucking good. Which yeah. leads us at last to Prey, a prequel movie directed by Dan Trachtenberg, best known as the director of 10 Cloverfield Lane, as the trailer proudly announces. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess it kinda has to do that since it's literally his only other theatrical film credit. Now don't get me wrong, Cloverfield Lane was a decent little claustrophobic thriller yeah. about a young woman trapped in a bunker with a big sweaty <laughs> madman. The problems came in though when the script made a half-assed attack attempt to tie it into Cloverfield at the 11th hour. Anyway, Prey is set during the 18th century and focuses on a young Comanche girl who has to protect her tribe against an alien hunter from another world. But drinker, you goddamn sexual Tyrannosaurus, I hear you say. If Arnold fucking Schwarzenegger and his pumped up buddies armed with state-of-the-art weaponry got wiped out almost to the last man by just one of these things, then what kind of a chance has a hundred pound girl with a bow and arrow got against it? Well, according to the trailer, nah, it'll be fine. Seriously though, if you're going to try something a bit different, then I guess you might as well jump back in time and have a completely different culture go up against the Predator with completely different tactics. Mm -hmm. Dutch and his mates from the first film were soldiers first and foremost, mm -hmm. and so naturally they tried to combat the Predator by fighting a war against it. And it wasn't until Dutch himself started thinking more as a hunter than a warrior that he was finally able to turn the tables. So, okay, fine, let's take a tribe of people who specialize in hunting and survival and see what they can do. Mm -hmm. It feels like one of those weird little hypothetical Ethical matchups that you end up debating for hours as kids. Mm -hmm. Who would win in a fight between a Predator and a Terminator, or Robocop, or John Rambo? Personally, I always wanted to see a Predator take on the Colonial Marines from Aliens, but that's just me. Let's yeah, Vasquez, get it! <laughs> here is that there's definitely potential for this kind of concept, <laughs> provided it's handled with a bit of intelligence. Vasquez and Drake was the main character, and they avoid falling into the trap of using its culturally sensitive backdrop to push the <laughs> message. <laughs> so let's see what the trailer has to say for itself. Why do you want to hunt? Because you all think that I can't. Uh, you set us up! It's all bullshit! All of it! Yeah, lines like this were almost certainly going to invite mockery and hostility from a fan base that just wanted a decent Predator movie instead of a fucking intersectional feminist struggle session. Yeah. But hey, I guess it was totally worth it to send a message. So of course our protagonist turns out to be a strong female character who just wants to become a hunter against the wishes and traditions of her tribe. Why? So the rest of the plot can happen. Also, <laughs> I'd like to point out that no hunter-gatherer society of that time period would have tolerated this kind of bullshit from one of their own. Those ideas would have been literally beaten out of her before she could say, smash the patriarchy. Probably. Anyway, whatever. This is 21st century Hollywood's idea of what nomadic hunter tribes acted like. So strong female character takes her suspiciously domesticated pet dog and ventures out into the wilderness to try and kill one of the largest and most dangerous land animals in North America. Yeah. Alone. Seriously, have you not seen The Revenant? Yeah. And naturally the whole thing ends crazy. about as well for her as it did for Leonardo DiCaprio. But wait, what's this? Something killed the bear that was about to kill her and then bench pressed it over its fucking yeah. head? 
<laughs> yeah, sure, okay. Clearly something nasty is afoot here. So the rest of the tribe to go after whatever the fuck this thing is, and naturally strong female character is allowed to accompany them. I guess they must have got over the whole no hunting rule. Also, why does everyone in this movie talk with a modern day Californian accent? I <laughs> can't. I'm trying to protect you. Protect me from what? To call me crazy, but shouldn't they be speaking Comanche or something? <laughs> but then I guess everything goes a bit wrong, and I'm willing to bet the entire hunting party gets wiped out, and only strong female character survives because she understands how the predator hunts, and nobody listens to her. But that's okay, because now she can unleash her inner badass and become the warrior that she was always meant to be. I know how to survive. <laughs> you go, girl. I see you learned the whole cover yourself in mud trick, eh? Uh-huh. You couldn't see me. I can't wait for the ludicrous sight of a 5 foot 5, 120 pound actress oh, facing off against a 7 foot tall predator. <laughs> <laughs> the final confrontation between Dutch and the predator in the original movie was so impactful because it played entirely against expectations. Well, the hand, Audiences too. at the time were used to seeing Arnold Schwarzenegger as this unstoppable, inhuman force of nature who dwarfed everything and everyone around him. But suddenly there he was, unarmed and vulnerable, facing off against this monstrous creature that made him look like a fucking down. child in comparison. Mm -hmm. It was cool and unnerving because he looked like he might genuinely lose. But having an actress that's got the size and build of a small child to begin with, yeah. trying to realistically fight something of that size isn't going to be cool and unnerving. It's going to be fucking ludicrous. It doesn't matter if it's time you tie those this. bands around your arms, love. It's not going to give you big muscles. <laughs> Got the ultimate warrior job. <laughs> <laughs> then, wouldn't you know it, a bunch of European settlers show up. Now, if I was to listen to the better angels of my nature, I'd say that they were worked into the story because strong female character has to team up with one of them so that they can use their combined experience and weaponry to take down the predator. You know, it would be a neat little mm -hmm. message about two people from vastly different cultures learning to put aside their mutual distrust and work together in order to combat a much bigger threat. If I was a chaotic neutral, on the other working. hand, I'd say it was done entirely so they could finally give the backstory to this pistol from Predator 2. Exactly! They put themselves on the back for respecting that's the a, lore. That's what I was on the other thinking. Hand, if I was a cynical man that was haunted by the message, I'd say that these guys will end up portrayed as the real villains of the movie, and strong female character will decide to team up with the Predator to fight them off and protect her people. But surely no screenwriter would be that dumb, right? Why do you want to hunt? Because you all think that I can't. Oh. Now, don't get me wrong, I definitely think there's mileage in a concept like this, provided it's done right. Yeah. I mean, damn, there's already a bunch of fan movies out there on YouTube, probably done on shoestring budgets, that prove how awesome the Predator can be in different historical eras. I've but never the real seen problem the here movies. isn't the idea, it's the people making it. This might be a Fox production in name at least, but let's be honest, we all know who's pulling their strings on this one. Even the trailer's got Disney's grubby fingerprints all over it, and I'll be willing to bet that the final product will be stuffed to the gills with all the usual garbage that gets injected into their movies these days. And it's a real shame, because the Predator is such an awesome antagonist that hasn't had a decent outing in more than 30 years. And quite frankly, I don't expect that to change in 2022. Anyway... That's all I've got for today. <laughs> Go away now. <laughs> Yo! Drinker, you said it all, man. Like, you, everything that everyone's thinking, you said it. And I'm... It It could be done right. But I don't see this... This, um... Little woman being able to take this thing like that. If a whole team of heavily armed, roided up men couldn't do it. I don't see how this is going to happen. So, I could, with that idea, I didn't think of that, though, with the tribe and the settlers combining their knowledge and hunting and technology to take down the predator. Now, that I could see happening. They do that right, that'll work. If you just see this chick do it like that, there's no... What, did you see, even Danny Glove, did you see the bullshit... He had to go through to try and take that predator down. And the predator had him beat a couple of times and just didn't kill him. You know what I mean? Like, predator could have took him out at any point and, and didn't. So, you know. <laughs> Post comments down below. Let me know what you all thought. If you enjoyed my reaction to this, make sure, first and foremost, you subscribe to The Critical Drinker. Tell him Tyro Magnus sent you. And... 
Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share right here. 10 million subscribers, baby. <laughs>